If you're looking to get this sort of anime or goth alternative type of hairstyle, then I'm gonna show you a couple of key things that you need. So this is done on fully straight hair. This, it really does help to have pin straight hair. Uh, you know, wavy hair, you can have different variations, but to get this very flat, sleek type of hairstyle, you need perfectly pin straight hair. Now, let's talk about the haircut. I created somewhat of an undercut, which basically goes all the way to about right here, all the way around the head. Right? I did kind of lower it slightly here, but it's basically an undercut. The difference is, is that you can use maybe a number two or three guard so that this isn't really showing a lot of skin. That's the one thing that makes it unique. The, the shorter you go throughout this area, the more disconnected it's gonna look and it may not be as complimentary as if you had the hair a bit longer so it kind of camouflages it and is really more designed to just remove the weight underneath. If your hair is really heavy and bulky and thick under here in the sides, you need to do this sort of undercut so it's removing all of that weight. When you remove this weight and the hair lays over it, guess what? It's gonna lay twice as flat. So you're getting that sleek type of look closer to the head. This is great if you've got maybe a fuller face, a round face shape, you know, uh, this is really ideal for that because it's really narrowing down the sides and the shape. Now, the next thing is the length. So <clears throat> what I did is you could basically create a length that goes anywhere from here. You can kind of angle it down in the back slightly if you want. But the key is that this is going from a, you know, somewhat shorter to longer length right in the front. The longest point of this haircut will probably be the front here and even the back here. But this, as you can see, comes down to a point like that. The reason that is, is because this is gonna allow you, this point right here, it means it's going from shorter, shorter into longer. If you have this to where it's shorter here and longer on the sides and very unbalanced, it's really not gonna work. It's, it's not gonna get you the look you're looking for. So <clears throat> having this on an angle like this, it kind of sweeps over this way and this is the longest point. You can actually go over the opposite way as well and there you go. So by leaving this hair longer in the middle, it's allowing you to sweep it over on both sides. So let's talk about layering. Yes, this hair, believe it or not, is layered, okay? The layering is what's creating some sort of movement and shape. If you want your hair to be super, super flat and no movement at all, then you can do it more of a one length type of situation. However, it's gonna be a bit heavier. The, the best way to achieve these types of hairstyles is to have less weight on the hair, meaning it needs to be thinned, it needs to have a lot of that bulk removed so the hair can literally lay down a lot smoother. So, once you have the haircut done, now this is something that I'd suggest going to a hairstylist for because there's a lot of tools and techniques and tricks of doing this. If you're trying to do this yourself, the undercut part can be very simple. Uh, you know, and then where it gets complicated is this part here on the top. Now you can cut everything kind of coming to a point going shorter to longer this way. You can achieve that maybe if you're cutting someone else's hair to get this look or they're cutting, you know, hair uh, or watching this to cut hair on someone else. Yourself, it may be a little more challenging. However, you can accomplish a lot by using the techniques. So what I want to do now is showcase uh, a tool this is called a feather razor. It's a professional hair tool. This has been around for ages and ages and it has a guard here so that when you're trying to cut hair, you can actually protect yourself from cutting. I do have a link to purchase this in, my, in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link. So, you know, it's on my, it's on my Amazon store and it's been a tool that I've been using for quite some time. So this is, Definitely something I suggest purchasing and investing in. If you're doing a lot of haircuts at home or even if you're a professional, it's a must have tool. How do you get these wispy pieces? You can see this in through here. It's very, very wispy and pointy. Look at that right there. See how it's, I'm just able to take those sections like this. What you wanna do is scrape the outer layer while the hair is dry 
and what you're doing is you're removing the weight and you're just literally scraping and scraping the top layer. You can also take sections like this and feel where the bulk is and lay the, the feather razor flat, almost like it's pointed upwards, and then you're not gonna get any hair and just turn it, turn it, turn it down to where you slightly just start to have a little bit of hair being removed. And even that alone removes some weight and bulk. If you turn this in too much and scrape, you're gonna cut a whole chunk of hair. So you have to really get used to that technique of just, like imagine like you're slicing like a carrot or something and you're, just, you're really just removing that weight in little slices like this. Okay, so once you have that done, it's gonna really help with the haircut and with the shape to make it lay very, very flat. Uh, again, this has to be done on dry hair. Now, the next thing is, this is my vent brush, an anti-static vent brush, which has a rubber handle. I'm, this is my favorite vent brush. This is now officially my own, you know, vent brush. The mold was made just for me now. It's all 100% mine, and it's available on my shop, shop.theslaga.com. When you're blow drying this, my blow dryer too, everything I'm using pretty much is mine, except for like the feather razor. You need to make sure that you have the nozzle on this, on the blow dryer, which is a magnetic attachment. It comes with my dryer. What you need to do is blow dry the hair downwards and you, like you're wrapping the hair, which is called the flat wrap technique, which I've been doing for probably over 20 something years. It's an old school technique of basically making the hair lay down flat or you're flat wrapping the, he the hair to the head. So it's kind of like you're trying to make it as close to the head as possible so there's no volume in it. So once you're done with that, and again, this works great on very, 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 very pin straight hair, all right? Now, I have a <clears throat> new product which I finally have relaunched, which is Sleek. Many, many years ago, I had a smoothing serum called Sleek. I discontinued it and I've had a, an update to it. It's better than ever. It smells like something that is so seductive, the most sultry, seductive, like, oh my God, it, it's, it's luxury. The scent is luxury in a bottle. Very, very amazing smell. And it's designed for, you could use it on damp hair when you're blow drying, but what you wanna do is do a little pump like that, like a little bit, goes a long way. It's loaded with oils that are beneficial to your hair, all right? So what you wanna do is work it through your hands like so. Gosh, I just love that smell. And you're gonna just go on the top layer like this. So you're working throughout the top layer and what this is gonna do, is gonna remove any sort of frizz. It's gonna make the hair nice and healthy looking. Not only is this a smoothing serum, but it's also a repair serum. So if your hair is dry, if it's very dull looking, frizzy, damaged, this is going to be a hair repair and smoothing serum. And look, just from that alone, look what it did to the hair. It's not gonna make your hair oily, it's not gonna make it greasy, it's actually making the hair look healthier. And for all of you who are wondering, yes, this is a 100% human hair mannequin. I don't buy garbage cheap mannequins, it's 100% human hair. Now, lastly, here's my carbon comb. If you want, you can then create separation like this. If you're looking for a little more movement, you can use this, or what you can do is once again, we're gonna pat down. You don't wanna lift up or shake. For this type of alternative look, you wanna make sure that everything is flat, close to the head. So if you wanna take pieces, you can literally just take points like this with your fingers, making little points like that. And you can make as many as you want. Here we go, we're making some cool little points right there. Again, making this a fairly alternative type of hairstyle. And the reason I say alternative is because of my age. You know, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, uh, being a nightclub DJ, being around all sorts of, you know, goth alternative nightclubs. You can do all of this right here. And then lastly, if you wanna lock it in, you can use my updated and new Locked XL hairspray, which also smells incredible. The best smelling hairspray you will ever smell. There you go, you can lock that down. Keeps the flyaways, you know, everything is gonna look sleek and smooth just like this, all right? Let me know if you enjoy this video. If you wanna purchase any of my products, 
Use code YouTube20 at shop.theslongguy.com.